Hi everybody, it's Teacher Katie here from the Walla Walla YMCA and today I'm going to read a book called Surprising Spring. So I've been reading Easter books and books about springtime. Let's join together. It's spring. The air is getting warmer. So it's feeling warmer outside. And the world is coming alive. Look, the squirrel's eating its nuts right here. Flowers are blooming. Watering can is there to water the flowers to help them grow. They're doing some gardening over here. Bears wake up after a long winter's nap. Sniff, sniff. <laughs> Grrr, say the bears. Look at this one yawning really big as it's waking up from its long nap. Children come outside to play. Wave hello to your friends. Can you give them a wave? Let's look at what else is happening on this page. Looks like the lady, I, I'm thinking that might be her mom, is putting bird seeds out for all the birds. It asks us a question here. It says, what color do you see all around? Now there's lots of beautiful bright colors, but I think green is the one that stands out most to me. What do you guys think? Take a minute and look. Green! We were right! Green leaves sprout on trees. Tap the tiny leaf buds to help them open. So it's like little buds on the leaves and then they open up and eventually become flowers. Look, there's the buds and there's the flowers. Green grass shoots through the dirt. Pinch the blades of grass. So look, you can see the green grass is coming through the dirt. Things are growing during springtime. Birds begin to chirp overhead. Tweet, tweet. Can you guys tweet like a bird? Do it. Tweet, tweet. They build nests. Here's the nest look. And they lay eggs. Can you count how many the eggs there are? Let's do it. One, Two, three, four. That's right, you counted four eggs. Crack! Watch quietly as the eggs hatch. What do you think comes out? Hmm, tiny baby birds. Such a cute bird family. Here, look, here are the parents. And there's the babies. I bet they're going chip, 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 chip. Other baby animals are born in spring too. Here's a lamb. It's fun to touch the lamb's fluffy wool. Let's go help in the garden now. So this is kind of the picture we saw at the beginning. Look, they're helping plant right here. Flowers and maybe food that will grow. Oh, oh, it's now, it's raining. Now we've got to put on your raincoat and boots. Open your umbrella. So look how quickly the weather has changed. And that happens in spring, but we need lots of rain so it can help things grow. Rain helps the grass and flowers grow. And rain can be fun too. Now let's jump in the giant puddle. Splash! Soon the rain will stop. Flowers will grow. Look at all those pretty flowers. Tap each purple flower. Let's do it. One, two, three purple flowers. Now tap each red flower. One, two. What other colors do you see? Hmm. I see a pink one and I see an orange one. Beautiful spring colors. Spring is full of new beginnings, but soon spring will end. And does anyone know what season comes after spring? Summer will come, bringing lots of outdoor fun. 
I love springtime. It's, it's great when you have that warm air and it's sunny one day and then it rains. Maybe next time it rains, you could go with an adult and you could go for a walk, take an umbrella and you could splash in some puddles too. I hope you enjoyed this book. Bye everybody.